Welcome to First Person Defender, where good guy role players come face to face with unknown attackers in real world scenarios oh, stop right here. Stop right and fight right here. their way out. Get down the ground! You're about to set my daughter on fire. There's no way I was gonna let that happen. Get away from her! Get away from her now! You got me in the shoulder, right through center mass of what I was giving you. This force-on-force -force training uses simunitions, a non-lethal alternative to live ammunition, backed up with live fire training on the range. From home invasions... Hey, get out of my house! To ...active killers and multiple hey, attackers. Speed kills. Sometimes it's fast speed, sometimes it's slow speed. Each episode of First Person Defender features a situation straight out of real life. Get in the damn car! This could happen to anyone. This is First Person Defender. At a remote fishing camp far from the police station, two buddies are relaxing. On today's episode of First Person Defender, the quiet of the backwoods explodes with a violent confrontation. Our good guys have to fight their way out of a lethal situation. There he is. What's up, guy? Hey, what's with the gun? Who's got, got a gun? Hey. Who else has got a gun? My name's Joey. I'm 36, originally from Chalmette, Louisiana, currently live in Covington. I'm a uh, paramedic in Mandeville, Louisiana, also a paramedic in New Orleans. What I do makes me think about self-defense because when I'm working on somebody that's just been shot, a lot of times uh, the person hasn't been caught yet. Uh, so I've always kind of got eyes looking around, making sure he's not the guy right next to me or, or, or right behind me, and at the same time working on the, the person, the victim that's been shot. My name's Jason Klossner. I'm 39. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I work for a major firearms distributor. I do their product development. I've been a concealed carry holder since 21. If it's an illegal place to carry, I, I have my gun with me. My experience with firearms is actually uh, very limited right now, other than uh, video games. Uh, my wife had a, had a violent encounter right after we got married and where she got attacked going in her house in the middle of the day, middle of the week. Uh, hearing Jason talk about his, his wife's encounter, violent encounter, and not having her gun immediately on her right there uh, and learning from that, uh, that's something that we've got planned for them today. I think there's going to be stuff we can teach them but I think they're gonna do a really good job right off the bat. Joey and Jason have a shotgun and a revolver available. It's a good combination, but in this scenario, Joey isn't wearing the revolver. It's stuffed into the door pocket of his SUV. So the scenario today is you guys are out here on the bayou uh, on your fishing trip. Apparently you guys are having a good time. You've been in and out of town, you know, doing your thing and uh, you might have a confrontation with some of the local guys. So the entire scenario, what you do is you react to the stimulus. Whatever happens, you react to it. Remember that the people you encounter, not everybody's going to be a bad guy. Not everybody's going to be a good guy. But you've got to react to the threat that they present to you. Gotcha. All right, good. Guys, go gear up. The pump shotgun is staged inside, as is the revolver. It's loaded with simunition FX cartridges and has been double checked for safety. Joey starts working on his vehicle while Jason is inside the fishing camp. Crew members in yellow are considered to be invisible for the scenario. All others are in play. Uh, honestly, I'm not really sure what to anticipate uh, today. I'm hoping to learn a little bit and uh, maybe get some better insight. Just trying to think of all the different angles they can, they yeah. can try to come at us and how we will communicate. And I'm trying to not overthink it. Try not to overthink it. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Tough guy. Remember me from last night? Where's your buddy? Where's uh, your buddy? Is he in the house? Whatever it is, it's not working. Trigicon. Brilliant aiming solutions. Nozzler Defense Ammunition is loaded up front with the bonded performance line of bonded core defense bullets. Professionals trust their next move to Nozzler Defense. When the bond between hand and gun feels as true as a perfectly placed shot, it's not by accident, it's by design. MP advanced by design. First Person Defender is brought to you by 
Remington, Crimson Trace, and Simunition. We set the first scenario up so that uh, Joey and Jason would be separate in that they'd both have to move to weapons if they wanted to use them and they'd have to figure out how to coordinate working together. Hey. Hi. Tough guy. Remember me from last night? Uh, no, I'm afraid I don't. Hey. Where's your buddy? Where's uh, your buddy? Is he in the house? Who's that? The guy you were with last night. The big tough guy. Hey. He, he's here. Yeah? Get him out here. Let me, let me call him what up. Joey kept trying to get in the car. He was screwed. He was not going to get back in that car. One is he's not going to go to the car to get a phone. And two is he's not going to go to the car to get a gun. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hey, hey, tough guy. Hey, what's with the gun? Hey, hey. you put, put that down. down. I got a gun. I got, got a gun. Hey. Who else has got a gun? Anybody? Let's just talk. What's going on? Yeah. Well, I come down here to show you something. What's with... Hey. Hey, we don't want any trouble here. Don't just get in your truck and get out. Whatever it is, it's not working. You too. You get over there. You point the gun at me? Yeah. I'm not pointing at anybody. Huh? Hey, man. Bad. You point a gun at me, not I'm pointing at you. Hey, buddy. Put that damn gun down. Huh? You get the hell out Nothing. of here. Look. I'm good. Guns. We're good. At some point, somebody cranked off a round. I guess it was Ryan, because he, he said, let's get this thing going. <laughs> I'm going to tell you one more time, put it down. So who wants to start first? What was going on out there? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Apparently we were uh, apparently, apparently we were causing trouble in town. Yeah. Guess we had a bit too much fun last night. Yeah, you don't remember most of that. <laughs> I do not. Not a bit. Yeah. No. Well, we come out here to cause trouble with you guys. What did you experience? I mean, tell me. Why don't you start, Joey? Because I was the first one to engage yeah. you. Yeah. I'll be honest. I was. Uh, I was nervous, even even though I knew what we were doing. I was completely off guard with the uh, with the gun being inside the car. No way to get to it. Windows up, door shut. That was I was completely out in the open. My biggest dilemma was trying to keep cover and try to defend him at the same time and not totally expose us because you kind of had the position on the, behind me. So that's when I kind of went back in and kind of tried to hopefully make you guys divert your attention towards me. You know, Jason did the right thing uh, on that scenario. He really did a good job of utilizing cover and staying within that doorway. It was when we started flanking him and he tried covering both of us that it became a big problem for him. I tell you, it, it, it spiked your adrenaline. Like I said, even yeah, like Joe uh, was saying, even though you knew it was coming. I was completely floored. Uh, the adrenaline hit me. I wasn't expecting it at all. I'm used to being in adrenaline charged situations, but this was completely different. All right, well, I think you guys did a great job. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the range First and foremost, we're going to talk about the fact that having a gun on you is way better than having a gun right. near you. <laughs> right? We're going to go down to the range. We're going to give you a little bit of a force multiplier by giving you some good tactics. All right, and of course, we're going to arm you too. Good. All Sounds right. good. All right, so let's go into team tactics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys two, two commands. Two commands. The first one's going to be move. So when I say move, you move, just like that. When you get to where you think you have good angles and fields of fire, because if you go too far, 
don't you end up with a crossfire? Right, so you get to where you have good angles, good fields of fire. I'm gonna call threat. While you're moving, I want your gun coming out though. When I call threat is when you guys engage the targets. Okay. All right, so you're, you're starting off in here. You're like, hey, guys, we don't want any trouble. When should I cycle my action? While I'm moving or? I would say right before I decided to shoot, because as soon as you cycle that action, that's gonna prompt them to do something. And if they're both focused on you, they may be aimed in as well. So okay. now you may come out of the house and rack it right away. So let's do that. Let's do that and say, what's the problem? Gotcha. You know, how about that? When I say move, okay. you guys say, what's the problem? Okay. All right, guys, ready? Move. What's the problem? Run! Squeeze that pistol. Squeeze that laser. Good. Model 1911 has been by our side through it all. And proudly, it's once again a Remington. America's favorite pistol design by America's most trusted gun maker. the training to back it up. A laser gives you the ultimate advantage. This is Condition Crimson, and in Condition Crimson, we stand. Learn more at ConditionCrimson.com. First Person Defender is brought to you by Trigicon, Nosler, Smith & Wesson, and Blackhawk. At the live fire range, we, we worked on some team tactics on basically how to how to work together uh, for us and not against us. By moving apart, you know, it spreads us out. You know, they have to focus on two different places and uh, gives us more of an advantage or puts us at less of a disadvantage. For scenario two, Jason and Joey start together at the rear of the vehicle. This time, we let Joey wear the revolver so he doesn't have to go retrieve it. Had a good day fishing, man. Yeah, it was fun. We ought to try and do it again sometime. Yeah. Get all this stuff inside, pack it up. When Ryan and I approached as the bad guys, we stayed in the truck just for a little bit because we wanted them to to stew just a little bit and to think. You know, I mean, is is Jason gonna grab the shotgun right away and just start shooting at a truck that pulls up in front of his house? Probably not, but you never know in these kind of things. People get jacked up. How's it going, guys? How's it going? Hey, what's going on? Hey, how are you oh, doing? Hi. Hey, tough guy. Hey, what's up? How are you? You feeling tough today? I remember you from hey, last night. Any trouble? Hey. Yeah, last night? You want some of this? Uh, I don't want any of that. I don't know. Look, man, we've got guns, too. We don't want any trouble, okay? Yeah? Well, we do want trouble, baby. Yeah, we're well, here for trouble. Well, we're ready for you. We, we don't want any trouble. trouble. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. whoa. Why don't I just get back in the truck and y'all can doing? leave? Dude. You got a decision. You can either fight or you can leave. But you're going to probably you leave hurting. baby. You got Come a gun. On, guys. Yeah, I got a gun. Do something. Do something. You got a gun? All y'all got to do is leave, man. All you got to do is leave. Like it ain't worth it, I can promise you. All right, we'll see you around. We'll be here.
tense moments there for a little bit, huh? Uh, kinda awesome. know what y'all were up to, so. <clears throat> How'd that feel? You know, it felt better. A, a little better. That yeah. we were together. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think you, you have more strength when you're when you can see each other and you kind of know what's going on a little better. How did it feel having a gun this time versus having the gun in the car? I, the anxiety level was significantly lower yeah. than, than the last time. Between having it on me and having him right there. You gotta say, when you ride the shotgun, that was something. <laughs> well, I tell you, him having the gun on him and knowing he had it with him helped me too because I didn't feel like I was having to cover both of you and watch for him. I felt like, okay, we can kind of each take take a person and, and kind of focus on what we had to do. To be stationary or grouped up, two bad things. And you guys didn't stay stationary and you didn't stay grouped up. So you guys did a, a world of good for yourselves there. It was awesome. This scenario went down exactly as I really wanted it to go down. Now, another thing could have happened. They both could have peeled off and gone around the truck and took positions of cover, you know, from the front of the car. But you know what? All that stuff is, is training. All that stuff is time. And in First Person Defender, we've got a little bit of time to share a little bit of knowledge. And I think it's a great amount of knowledge for the people that are getting it. And what we trained on and what they did was awesome. It was textbook. I had a blast. I honestly did. Going from here, uh, what's probably going to change with me is I'll start carrying more. Uh, keep it on me. Because um, if I have it, but it's not readily available, then what's the point of me having it? I had a great time today. It was so much fun. Uh, you know, it was, it was, it was good. It made you think. It made you think. And having two people involved, not only on my side but on the bad guy side, really changed it up. I really like these guys. I think they did a great job. I'm really confident in them. I know that we've changed Joey's thinking process to some degree, and I know that Jason, as trained as he is, he got a lot out of it as well.